past couple of days, we've just kind of been kind of sitting under the cloud cover. We haven't seen a whole lot of sunshine. We saw a little bit today, but it just wasn't enough to really send our temperatures into the low 40s like we thought. There were a couple of spots in southern Kentucky that got into the low 40s today or at least around 40 degrees. Sunshine, though, begins to come back tomorrow, so that's something we can look forward to. A little dose of vitamin D for us, kind of a mood enhancer, mood booster. That's what I need, of course, getting through these winter months. Rolling into early March, we actually have a really nice dry stretch ahead where we're going to be looking at very, very low chances of rain and snow over the next seven days. Get that outdoor time in and it's going to be looking and feeling nice as we roll into next week, at least for today. Right now, though, still on the chilly side, you can see Somerset coming up around 40 degrees. Bowling Green's around 43 Knoxville at 41 Cincinnati's at 36 degrees. We have the high pressure sliding in, so that's going to push a lot of those clouds out overnight, but there is a disturbance just to the south of us. For the most part, Tennessee, the Carolinas, the Deep South will be picking up some rain. It's almost like the border of Kentucky and Tennessee just acts as a barrier and just kind of holds that rain down over around the Knoxville area. So throughout this evening, we're dry. We still have the cloud cover in place. Little bit of that northern edge of rain starts to roll into far southern, far southeastern Kentucky. We're talking basically almost out of the state. So by about maybe between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., don't be surprised if you live in Whitley County or McCreary County or Wayne County, Bell County, you could be picking up maybe a stray shower. Otherwise, the rain pushes off to the east. A very weak but dry cold front starts to move in on Sunday, but it really doesn't even increase clouds. A lot of the clouds stay to the south. We'll see some sunshine building, especially throughout the afternoon. And then Monday looks spectacular. Another high pressure system nearby and that will help to keep us on the dry side, cloud free side as well, and it will help to boost those temperatures up into the 40s over the course of the next week or so. Yeah, rain chances, snow chances are nil, nothing. Rain chances are at a very minimum. It's not really until next weekend that we start to see a small chance of showers starting to make their appearance back into the bluegrass. February days looking back, I know we're only 26 days in today is the 26th. But there were equal amounts of days above normal and days below normal 13 for both. We'll see how the final two days come into play. But overall, pressing into the month of March, we're looking at a nice warm up heading our direction. Temperatures pushing back up into the 40s tomorrow, then the 50s on Monday and Tuesday, and eventually the 60s or at least 60 degrees by Wednesday. And then it's up from there. There could even be a couple of spots in southern Kentucky that push 70 degrees next weekend tonight it's not going to feel anything like that 28 it is going to still be cold shower far south possible into dawn tomorrow morning otherwise clouds begin to clear out we'll see some sunshine west winds at five to eight miles per hour high temperatures in the upper 40s beginning to see that warming trend and then we'll continue the lovely spring like trend Tuesday, March begins and it's going to be coming in like a lamb. So you know what that means? Maybe going out like a lion on the backside, but we will take this lovely stretch of weather with a lot of sunshine until Saturday and Sunday. Then that's when a chance for showers return. We'll be right back.